everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new then welcome my name is christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences so before you go make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below we are swatching all 12 of the brand new let me grab them l'oreal infallible le resistance matte liquid lipsticks there are 12 like i mentioned we're gonna try to swatch all of them i'm very scared i'm not even gonna lie i'm afraid of what this is gonna do to my lips so without further ado, let's talk about the specs, get into the swatches, and then talk about my first impressions at the very end. These are described as powdery matte liquid lipstick that lasts up to 16 hours, get bold color payoff in one swipe that's transfer and smudge resistant for all day matte finish. All right, I have them in order right here. And honestly, I don't wanna start with the lightest one with my first first impression. I wanna pick a shade that I think I'm actually going to really, really like. I think I'm gonna try Snooze Your Alarm. So let's go ahead and break the seal here. Oh yeah, that looks like my shade. Ooh, okay. So, has a scent to it. I think it smells similar to their other lipsticks. Kind of florally, kind of a sweet scent. Not super, super strong though. It's a very thin doe foot and it's super angled right there. Let's see if it's bendy. Yeah, it seems to be quite bendy right there as well. There's the shade. So this is gonna be Snooze Your Alarm. Whoa, that is pigmented. Look at that. So I'm just gonna do a first impression on this, talk about the formulation and the other ones we're gonna kind of like zoom through because I don't wanna keep any of them on my lips for too, too long. So let's go ahead and start. The directions just say to go from inner to outer portion of your top lip and then swipe once on your bottom lip. Okay, it feels very thin. Okay, there is one layer right there. It definitely, when you're putting it on, has that thickness that a long wear liquid lipstick has. I definitely feel like this is going to dry down sticky. I haven't pressed my lips together yet. I'm going to just like let it dry completely before I actually do press my lips together to kind of get a feel of the texture of this and all that good stuff. But here's the shade Snooze Your Alarm. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and press my lips together just so we can get a feel of what this texture is like. So it feels a little tacky so far. Definitely has a little bit of that stick to it. If you're familiar with the Maybelline Superstay inks, it feels very similar to that, but these are not as sticky whatsoever. With those, I can't go in with a full doe foot and just like go in on the lips. I have to just dab a little of that on the center of the lips and then work it out with my finger because that is the best way to get the least amount of stick but get really good wear. With this, I was able to do the entire doe foot and it doesn't seem to have as much stickiness to it. So I like that already. It is sticky, but it's not as sticky as, you know, other drugstore long wear lipsticks, liquid lipsticks that I've tried. Let's do a little kiss test, shall we? So actually I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna do the back of my hand right here. We're gonna do a quick kiss test. All right, you can see a little bit of the outline, actually the majority, of the lipstick you can see the outline of. So it doesn't seem to have dried down on any of the outlining areas. We're gonna give it another couple minutes to dry down a little bit more and then we'll do the kiss test again just to confirm that that's what's actually going on. Okay, it's been about another like two minutes or so. Okay, let's do right here. Yeah, still some transfer there, as you can see. The outline right there of the lipstick, definitely some transfer there. It's not proving to be completely transfer proof, but could just be the application. It could be the amount of time I've had it on with so far. Who knows? Okay, just taking my Neutrogena makeup remover. Gonna use this to remove the lipstick. Okay, that actually came off pretty well. I'm very pleased with that. So now we're gonna start with the lightest one and work our way through. I'm gonna try to go through these as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and just swatch through them and then I'll talk about my first impressions and stuff at the very end. We have the shade Fairy Tale Ending. I didn't actually press my lips together. Oh, oh my goodness. Yikes. Okay, here's the shade Fairy Tale Ending. Oh my gosh, this is actually really embarrassing. This looks horrible horrible on me and my skin tone i mm, no no <laughs> not for me so this one is described as a soft pink beige and let me find out what the other one was snooze your alarm was described as a coral nude 
Oh gosh, this is not cute on me. <laughs> this is giving me Concealer Lips 2016. All right, next is the shade Breakfast in Bed. This one is described as a light medium mauve. Here is that swatch. Oh, I actually really like this shade. I don't know if it's gonna translate very well on my skin tone though. Ugh, mm, no. This is the shade Breakfast in Bed. It may look great on others, but it does not look good on me and my preferences. I just want to say that out loud. I'm sure that this tone would look amazing on those with light skin tones, light medium skin tones. I mean, even deep skin tones, if this is the type of shade you're into, this is not typically the type of shade I would wear on myself just because I feel like it kind of like washes me out. It does look a little gray on me also, so it's not my favorite, but this is what the shade looks like. Next is Tropical Vacay, which is described as a light coral pink shade. These smell exactly like a lipstick that I used to use. I don't know what it is, but I, I feel like I used it in college. I like the applicator on these. I like how precise it is, and you can really get in there and use it to your advantage to line your lips. Okay, here is the shade Tropical Vacay. Quite pink for my taste, but it doesn't look horrible. I could see this working really well with a lip liner if I really wanted to make it work for myself. I would probably pair it with a darker pink lip liner. Next is the shade Major Crush, which is described as a muted soft coral nude. All right, here is the shade Major Crush. This one actually is very pretty. I think that I could definitely wear this shade. And what I'm noticing off of these is that they are fairly, fairly light. This again is Major Crush. Next, I have the shade Shopping Spree, which is described as a rosewood nude. I definitely see the rosewood, but I wouldn't really call this a nude, like a rosewood nude. I'm actually not really sure what that means. Here is Shopping Spree. To me, and the way that it's looking on my skin tone, I would kind of categorize this more as like a rosy coral shade. It almost has a little bit of peachiness in it against my skin tone, in my opinion, but yeah, this is described as a rosewood nude, but I would say it's more like a reddish coral. Next is Lazy Sunday, which is described as a deep chocolate brown shade. Here is Lazy Sunday. In the tube, I was thinking that this was gonna be a little bit darker, but actually I like the way that this is looking. I feel like it is kind of a plummy brown versus a rich dark chocolate brown. I like that it has those reddish plummy undertones in it. I feel like it makes it a little bit more wearable if you have neutral to warm undertones in your skin because this won't look so, I guess, grayish compared to other like just true dark brown shades. Next, we have the shade Road Trippin', which is described as an orchid, and in parentheses, it says berry. Okay, here's the shade Road Trippin', and I like this one. I think that this is a really pretty orchid shade, like it describes. It has pinky, purpley tones to it. I feel like this one actually is a very wearable purple. This would look really cute paired with lip liners, maybe like Cork from MAC or Spice. Just like a warmer toned lip liner that's a little darker paired with this, I feel like would give it a lot of dimension and it would look very interesting. Next is French Kiss, which is described as a vivid pink red. All right, here is the shade French Kiss. And I do think that the description of this being a vivid pink red is spot on. You can definitely see a lot of pink within this red. I think it's interesting. I think it's different from other pinks and different from other reds. All right, next we have La Rouge Paris, which is going to be our medium blue red shade. Here is that red shade, just gorgeous. I mean, reds never fail whenever it comes to liquid lipstick with the way they look. Definitely sometimes the way they feel is not great, but I just feel like this bold red lip is always just so beautiful. So you can't go wrong if you like a red lip. I think L'Oreal always does their red perfectly, like their very classic traditional red. They just know how to do it. So of course, this one just is gorgeous. Second to last, we have the shade Wine Knot, and this is a vivid berry shade. Here's the shade Wine Knot. This is beautiful. I think that it's not too deep of a berry, but it's also not a light berry. It's definitely going to be that plummy berry shade that people really like. I think this has a little reddish undertone to it, so it makes it a little bit more warmer, which in my opinion, 
looks better on myself. I'm not a huge fan of berries on myself in general, but I like that this leans more red in undertone than black in undertone. I think that just looks better on myself. Lastly, we have the shade Payday, which is described as a deep burgundy. All right, and here we have Payday. So this I would say is like a true dark purple tone. I think that this actually still is pretty wearable because it does lean more tur turds. <laughs> I do think that this is more wearable because it leans towards being more of a purple tone and then being a dark black kind of purple tone you know what i mean i'm thinking like night moth lip liner from mac that's what i'm comparing this to this is definitely obviously purple like you can see that this is a purple lip color but personally this is not the type of shade that i would reach for typically i like to stick to like my neutrals and sometimes my orangey reds now, if you see, it is a little patchy on the inner parts of my lips with this shade, but that's strictly because I just didn't put on a very thick layer and I have been removing it with my Neutrogena makeup remover. So in saying that, there may be a little bit of residue on my lips. So that may be why it's not going on super evenly. All right, those were all of the swatches, guys. We did it, and truthfully, it wasn't that bad. I feel like they removed quite easily with my makeup remover. They weren't super stubborn or anything, and I like how thin they are because they were really easy to just remove from the lips, so very glad about that. Honestly, A plus with it. <laughs> Now let's talk first impressions. So starting off with the formulation, I do like this when it comes to a long wearing liquid lipstick. With my experience with most drugstore liquid lipsticks, they do tend to be a little thicker when they are supposed to be more long wearing. I would say probably the most comfortable one that I can think of off the top of my head would be the NYX Whipped what are they called? Smooth Whip liquid lipsticks. Those are more of a moussey texture, but if we're talking not moussey, if we're talking like a typical cream liquid lipstick, maybe the NYX like lip lingeries, they most definitely feel a lot more comfortable than the Maybelline Superstay inks, the ones that are kind of like in a square package, you know? Those tend to be very thick and tacky on the lips, and when you press your lips together or if you're just wearing them, they do tend to feel sticky, whereas these seem like they dry down for the most part, and the only place that I'm really noticing any sort of stickiness is right on the inner portion of my lips where you know you do have a little bit of saliva there and as you're talking you can kind of feel it like right now I can feel it on those inner corners just kind of slightly sticking so that's really the only thing and I was trying to compare it to the way that these feel this is the NYX lingerie XXL I have a whole video dedicated to swatching these as well so I'm just gonna do a quick swatch on the back of my hand yeah so these feel feel quite thin and they're super pigmented wow what shade is this low cut okay i forgot about this shade and then i'm taking the shade lazy sunday and i'm gonna swatch it on my hand right here as well oh those are similar okay so right off the bat as I'm kind of going back and forth, this definitely has a little bit more of a tacky feeling to it, whereas the NYX one feels more like a smooth liquid whenever you're rubbing it on there. So I would probably say that these do have a little bit more of a sticky, tacky finish, but again, that's not saying that these are super, super sticky and you know they stick together and they're uncomfortable. I do think that this is a pretty comfortable formulation it's not my favorite liquid lipstick formulation to be honest and I wasn't dying over any of the shades in particular in terms of longevity I will put in the description box down below once I get the opportunity to wear this lipstick for maybe like a full day I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it but um, right now it's about like 9 p.m. so I'm not gonna be wearing it for much longer tonight I'm actually really liking both of these shades right now they look really nice <laughs> 
I think it's a solid collection from L'Oreal. I mean, I'm not surprised. Who is surprised L'Oreal does their products very well? I will say I wish that we saw a little bit more of the rosy pinks, like warm pinky brown shades. I wish we had a little bit more of a neutral category to choose from. I think that they did their like pinks well, and then I think they covered like their darker tones, but we are kind of missing those neutral shades, you know? I mean so that's something that I would say Maybelline Superstays have above these. Talking about these versus the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick Le Macarons. So if you guys are familiar with those, those are also liquid lipsticks from L'Oreal and I believe that I've tried a couple of them. Maybe not on camera, but I definitely have tried them before. To be honest, I don't remember the formula. I don't remember how they feel on the lips. The description is the same. It says it's a pro matte liquid lipstick, full coverage, long wear for 16 hours, all day comfort matte color. So I don't know if this is supposed to be the same thing. I'm not really sure. From what I can remember, they are similar and I believe those did also have a little bit of tackiness. But if anything, these might be a little thinner. I really can't say. All right, guys, that was everything for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope that the swatches were helpful for you guys in choosing which colors you may be interested in. Let me know which shades were your favorite. I'm very curious to know. And let me know if you like long wear lipsticks, liquid lipsticks like these. I'm I'm very curious if there's a large majority of people that still really love matte long wear liquid lipsticks or if everyone's kind of like on the glossy bandwagon or like if we're all like heading towards the shiny lipstick phase. I don't know. I definitely am partial to a bullet lipstick, typically something that's a little shiny just because I feel like it just brings a little bit of juiciness, a little bit of youthfulness and stuff to the lips. So just my personal opinion, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. It really, really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!